Hello, I'm Jonathan Mann. Your money is just ahead, but first a look at the hour's top stories. In South Africa, an African National Congress candidate is among the dead after a powerful bomb blast in downtown Johannesburg. A car packed with explosives blew up near the headquarters of the ANC Sunday. CNN's Mark Watts joins us live with the latest from Johannesburg. Mark? Jonathan, police are calling it the largest bombing incident in Johannesburg history. As of this hour, six people confirmed dead and reports as hot possibly that 90 others are injured in a bomb that exploded about six hours ago. Susan Keene is the name of the African National Congress candidate who died in the bombing. She is a candidate for the provincial ballot running for office, of course not however that of president. Police cordoned off the area with razor wire and ambulances rushed people to the scene as speculation quickly turned to who was responsible for the bomb. Police say it was definitely intended for an office of the African National Congress. The bomb exploded about a half block between the ANC regional and national headquarter buildings. Apparently some 200 pounds of explosives were loaded into a vehicle. Witnesses say a white man and possibly others got out of the car and shortly afterward it exploded. The bomb ripped through a two square block area and in the process it disrupted a calm, a pre-election calm that had existed for about a week now. The level of violence <clears throat> between factions and rival parties had certainly tapered off as most of the candidates talk peace. Early speculation now, although no one has claimed responsibility, is that a white group was possibly responsible for the car bombing. But in an interview with CNN's Bernie Shaw this morning, the leader of a moderately conservative Freedom Party group, Constan Filyun, said his group is not responsible. And Tara Blanche, the leader of the fanatic right-wing extremist group, the Africana Resistance Movement, he also denies responsibility. So at this hour, the search continues to who is behind it all. Meanwhile, ANC officials say this will not intimidate their supporters from going to the polls coming Tuesday. It will be in interesting to see how it all plays out, given that two of the major candidates are holding two final rallies. ANC leader Nelson Mandela is in a stronghold of his longtime rival, Mongo Suda Budalese. He is in, Budalese is in a, a longtime stronghold of his rival, Nelson Mandela. So. It will all be interesting to see how it all plays out. We will, of course, have reaction from two of those major candidates on this, the final day of campaigning in South Africa's first all-race elections. Jonathan? Mark, is there any sense there about what kind of effect this incident could have on the election? Well, Jonathan, there will certainly be pockets of fear and pockets of fright because of this bombing, but this is something South African people have waited for a long time, this election. And given the history of violence throughout this country, police and other officials say it's not likely it's going to deter a major block of voters from coming out to the polls beginning on Wednesday. Mark Watts in Johannesburg, thanks very much.